Time is now running out for the crew and passengers of a submersible now missing after heading to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean to tour the wreckage of the Titanic. This afternoon, we learned that the vessel has less than two days worth of oxygen left, expected to run out around 5 a.m. Thursday Chicago time. So that leaves rescuers with precious little time to find and rescue the people on board who last made contact about 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod. The desperate search continues for five people who are headed to get an up-close look at the Titanic shipwreck in a submersible like this one. It is now a race against the clock to find them alive. Among the missing, businessman Shazada Daoud and his son Suleiman, renowned Titanic researcher Paul Henri Najule and Hamish Harding, a British billionaire. All three paid $250,000 each for the deep-sea excursion. The submersible disappeared Sunday on what was supposed to be an 8 to 10 hour round trip journey to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, 13,000 feet below the surface, but the sub went off the radar an hour and 45 minutes into the expedition. There could have been an accident. It could have become entangled in the wreckage of Titanic. It could indeed uh, have had a catastrophic failure. Uh, the answer is we don't know just yet. Coast Guard crews from the U.S. and Canada searching an area 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod. Since Sunday, the Coast Guard has coordinated search efforts with the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guard, Air National Guard aircraft, and the Polar Prince, which has searched a combined 7,600 square miles, an area larger than the state of Connecticut. To date, those search efforts have not yielded any results. The Titanic tourists started their expedition from Newfoundland, Canada, Friday on a ship carrying the 21-foot submersible vessel operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions, which offers trips to the wreckage of the Titanic. We are taking scans of the wreck. Ocean Gate says the submersible was equipped with up to 96 hours of oxygen. More than 48 hours have already passed. The company telling ABC News, our entire focus is on the well-being of the crew and every step possible is being taken to bring the five crew members back safely. Now, the sub is expected to rise to the surface if there are any technical issues. If it's miles underwater, experts say it will be almost impossible to rescue the people on board. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.